Have you burnt yourself? I almost burnt my fucking face off because I was so hungry and I just started chowing into it and it was just too hot. Can you do it again? <laughs> no fucking <laughs> I'm Chris Gethin. I'm going to be training to prepare for an Ironman. I'm giving myself six months and we're going to do it. Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Monday, back in Boise, baby. This week is a very, very busy schedule for me. Uh, I will be filming from uh, 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. I do have a couple of meetings mixed within that. We are doing an Ironman. We have to get used to being in the saddle for several hours. We have to get used to being out there running. The reasoning why I'm doing this is because, like I said, I'm trying to prove to you that with efficiency can come the longevity, uh, especially when it comes to endurance. Ugh. Day in the life of Chris Gethin this day in life still has not had a chance or spare hour to get his bloody Jeep clean. So I just looked like a hobo. Uh, that spare hour today is beginning with another meeting with Elevate Publishing to go over chapter five of The Man of Iron. That's what we're gonna go through today. And then I'm gonna follow up this meeting with Dr. Jason Watson to have uh, my cryotherapy, my O2 treatment, and uh, back alignment, all preventative measures. Anyway, here we are, so I better switch you off and get in. Are you recording? What are you doing? I'm looking for my leg day attire. Leg day attire. So you actually it, pick it out your like outfit? You're actually setting this up. It's like you overheard me say, I want my leg day attire, so you're like, oh, I'm gonna record this. So camo, shorts, green, gasp, top. I'm gonna go for some lifts tomorrow. And I'm guessing if I wear this, sunshine will probably be about two machines away from me. Should be too embarrassed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 1.42 today. So that means legs. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper than I usually do, which isn't that deep, to be honest with you. My Achilles tendons are extremely tight, so uh, that's why I'm wearing uh, these big bad boy boots today, just so I can go down a little bit further without uh, putting strain on my Achilles tendon. We stuck to compound movements. So when you're doing just compound movements alone, I feel that you don't need to do as many exercises because you're involving so many muscle groups and crossover muscle groups when you're performing that actual individual movement. So now the legs are adequately fatigued. It's a perfect time to go and fatigue them a little bit more uh, on the bike upstairs. Today's cardio is split up into two. Done uh, just under an hour this morning. I'm gonna go just uh, do just uh, under an hour this evening. So dependent on your schedule, what is convenient, you can split up your cardio sessions if they're a little bit too long to do in one go. If it's an hour, sure, you can do that in one go. But if it's two hours, then maybe split it up. So that's what I'm doing. I did a stationary bike this morning and now I'm gonna go out on my Cervelo here. Even though it's not only an hour, I go through a little bit of fluid there. I'm just gonna go hard for 20 minutes and then five minutes easy. And I'm gonna repeat that uh, several times uh, just to make sure that I, or a couple of times just to get in uh, a couple of good hard interval sessions here and then just take it easy. Hey guys, so we are in the caged kitchen and uh, myself and Sunshine are gonna work on giving you a couple of recipes today that you can have for breakfast or you can have any downtime that you wish because sometimes breakfast is the best meal of the day. 
So what we're gonna do today is start off with like a kind of a breakfast burrito that's very simple. So you can put whatever vegetables that you want in there, but I like to have some tomatoes here. I'm gonna have some fungus, some mushrooms, and uh, then I'm gonna mix that in with some egg whites within the frying pan. While that's cooking, we're gonna cook up the burritos and put a little bit of fat-free cheese on there, melted. I like to have a little bit of pink salt. Obviously, we're perspiring a lot, sweating a lot. We do need to keep that mineral balance intact. I like to take additional magnesium, so we're gonna take some additional salts as well. If you don't have a heart problem, pile it on there, kids. Pro tip, cook it for about four or five minutes longer than I actually did. Okay, maybe saute the mushrooms and tomatoes first for a few minutes. Oh, let's and not then. get into that. <laughs> no, we're talking to bodybuilders here. We want food now. Right. <laughs> so. That is the healthy, fast burrito. Like, how long did it take for us to cook? Like, 10 minutes? So, knowing you, being a bodybuilder, being a fitness enthusiast, you're gonna be eating like six or seven meals a day. You want something very fast, convenient. You can make several of these in one go. Pack them up, put them in the freezer, put them in the, uh, the fridge, whatever, for later on in the day. Good morning, day 144. Hopefully you're still with me, that you're still uh, following this program. It's been a long slog so far, but there's only a couple of weeks left now. We're getting very, very close to the end. Tomorrow morning, uh, as soon as we finish the workout, I have to fly to Newark. is all about a synergy and balance of making sure that you're efficient through all of these disciplines. You're not stronger at one and you're trying to make up time on the other. You're trying to be efficient and strong on every single one of them. So this is a place where I love to geek out. I come in here and I get my hoker, my shoes, running shoes. This is a local place in, uh, obviously in Boise, that we like to support, bandana running. And uh, my camel's back is split and it leaked all over my freaking Jeep and all my belongings in the back. So I need to get a new camel's back because I'm gonna go for a run and it's freaking hot. Ta -ta. So for this session, it's uh, just going at seven miles at Ironman pace, at race pace. So for me, an easy pace, but still quite exhausting nonetheless. It is uh, like 9.30 in the evening and I am in bed reading my swim, bike, run of the Brownlee brothers. <laughs> so I finished filming very, very late tonight. There's another company from out of town that wants to get footage. So I have been basically shooting with them after the Man of Iron content. Oh, for a freaking mess. After the Man of Iron content in the morning and uh, finishing in the evening. And then obviously when I come home, I got a crap load of emails and stuff to attend to. So I just finished that and pretty much uh, come straight to bed here. Knackered, got to get up at 4.30, isn't it? What is very important, I believe, is that we ration out the training. It's very easy for people to do more of the things that they want to do, as opposed to focusing on the things that they don't want to do. The way that I can put this into an analogy that I understand that I can get through to other people is that we're a sculpture. If we carve it too much, it's going to be out of balance. If we're too slow on that fact, it's not going to, it's not going to work. We have to be efficient. Saturday 
today here in New Jersey and I just finished my my swim here I got 2,900 meters in in uh, like an hour and seven minutes here and uh, whew, man I tell you what I woke up shattered I haven't had much sleep at all four five four hours sleep but you know this is just what happens in the real world isn't it? you know like I'd like to say hey yeah it's easy or I'd like to say yeah my situation is unique but it isn't unique everybody thinks their situation is unique everybody thinks they've got it harder than the next person so many times so my brain was saying 1500 that's okay you're lacking sleep you've got to get ready you've got this event and now do another 500 do another 500 and what I was doing was drills so that was that was really good anyway I'm gonna to have to get ready I've got to eat and I've got to get to this event New York, New York. So, you can guess where I am, can't you? Certainly doesn't look like uh, one of the villages I'm from in Wales. A little bit lost around here. But anyway, I uh, had my uh, public appearance earlier, which over 100 people showed up to, so that was really, really awesome. Quite a humbling experience when you show up at a store or an event and you have no idea if anybody's going to show up and then you're overwhelmed with the amount of people that uh, show up and then share their stories and you know I'm happy to answer any questions that they throw at me and uh, hopefully inspire some sort of positive change within their uh, lives. Now I'm about to enter Central Park. So Central Park has a loop that uh, goes around the edge that is around six miles so I hope to hit that uh, maybe twice here today at a steady steady pace with some fast drills in there you know I honestly believe that you should throw drills in there that are faster than race pace god I don't know if it's gonna be a little bit too busy to run around this loop we'll soon find out I guess